one is S A S. Mario, you are too smart for this class. Get out of here and go to. Yes, exactly. Side angle side. Very good. Okay. We didn't have to go to side angle side. We didn't have to go to supreme alliance substitution or some weird things. So again, we were talking about congruence. When are triangles congruent? That means when are they exactly the same in terms of their angle measure and in terms of their sides? Okay? So. Now, there's an important thing about side, angle, side. All right? When looking at side, angle, side, your angle has to be between your two sides. And I'm actually going to write this in because a lot of students will make a mistake with this. The angle must be between your two sides. So let's look at when we'd have two angles, or two sides that are equal, and an angle in between. So let's say these two side lengths are exactly the same measurement. And let's say these two side lengths are exactly the same measurement. All right? Now that does not prove congruence, right? That's only two sides. That's SS. Correct? So that would, I, you cannot say those two triangles are equal to each other. Now if I said that these two sides were equal to each other, then yes, we'd have congruence by side, side, side. But if I say that these angles are equal to each other, now we have side, angle, side. So now you can say with conviction and say by the SAS congruence that since we have a side, angle, side, Alexandra, these two triangles are congruent. That means now, once we know they're congruent, this is the minimum. We can now say that these two sides are equal, these two angles are equal, and these two angles are equal. And everything is equal to each other. Yes, Alexander, then Zach. Oh, just the tick marks, is that all What the tick marks represent is that the measurements are equal in length. Okay? Is that what we do? No, we're trying to determine if things are equal to each other or not. We're trying to determine if the whole triangle is equal. Just because it has a side length that's equal does not mean the whole triangle is equal. Well, no, it doesn't mean it's not equal. It means we don't know that it's equal. OK? We do know. So now we could complete them if we wanted to. But what I was saying is, just with the information provided, is that enough to know that they're equal? And yes, now you could say they're equal to each other, right? But the thing is that our point is we're not trying to measure what's equal or not. Because I don't really know um, what the measurement of each of these angles are. These two angles could be equal in value to each other, right? So the whole purpose is not like labeling everything with tick marks. I just want to be able to show you and prove that these two are equal in measure. Both triangles are equal. Yes, Zach? No, because now these two triangles, Blake, are exactly the same. Meaning now all of their sides are exactly equal in measure. So if that's equal to that, that's equal to that, then that has to be equal to that. Because they're, they are congruent by the theorem side angle side. Okay? So that's the easy stuff. Now,